We're now welcoming Nick Chawla to the studio. Thank you so much for being here. Good to be here. And you are the recipient of the 2024 Innovation in Materials Characterization Award. Congratulations. Thank you. So how does it feel to be recognized by your peers here at MRS? Oh, it's great. MRS is an amazing society. Uh, you know, our peers actually, you know, they, they, they have the highest standards. And so it's, it's really nice for not just for me, but our work over the years. Lots of students and postdocs who've done, you know, tremendous works over the years. So what do you find exciting about studying microstructures under an external stimulus as a function of time? Yeah, so we're really talking about using X-ray techniques, both at the lab and at the synchrotron scale, looking at microstructures in three dimensions. And when you add the time component to this, it's almost like watching the weather affects something or applying a stimulus to a material and seeing how it changes. And the beauty of it is, is that we've been able to answer some questions that have daunted scientists and researchers for over 50 years, 100 years, you know, because we just didn't have the tools. And now we have all these amazing tools to understand how materials behave under a variety of different conditions. So can you describe some of those tools and techniques that you're being able to use to discover this? Right. So uh, recently, we've been looking primarily at lab-scale x-ray tomography. So imagine something that you might have in a hospital, but much, much higher resolution, much higher fidelity. Um, we can do experiments in the lab over time. You can also use x-ray uh, facilities at the synchrotron, at the national labs. Uh, so at the lab scale, if you want to look at things like corrosion or things that take longer time for the material behavior, material microstructure to change, that's ideal. You have more control. At the synchrotron, we write proposals. We get access every six months or so. Experiments we probably want to do in about three or four days. So what are some of the applications to your work? Well, it's, it's wide-reaching, and that's the beauty of you know, why you have so much fun with this. Um, so we have work, for example, with Adidas, where we're looking at the foams in the soles of the shoes, and how does the foam change as the runner steps on it, as they're running through a marathon? Um, how can we engineer the cell structure to make it more comfortable and more durable? On the semiconductor side, there's big interest with the CHIPS Act and so on. Uh, we're trying to understand how defects change the performance of microelectronics. Uh, and a third example I would give is in, say, coffee beans. So I know, like you, I like to have my coffee, coffee early in the morning. Um, so we're looking at, for example, how beans, the, the, the porous structure of the beans changes during roasting, for example. And that porous structure affects how much of the water goes through uh, the coffee and how flavorful that coffee is going to be. So tomography is helping us answer a lot of very practical questions. I'm finding I'm very supportive of your work. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Well, Nick Jala, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate you having me.